You've got the call. You're now gonna be a sound mixer for a film project. It's time to pack up all your stuff and you're not sure you're ready. Well, I'm Andrew from DD Microphones and I have five accessories every sound mixer should have in their bag. Number one, spare batteries. I hear horror stories all the time from people who show up to any film projects and the producer didn't bring any AA batteries for the sound mixer. You should never rely on someone else for the essentials to do your job. It's important that you always keep about 24 to 36 AA spare batteries in your run bag. If you can even go one step further and purchase yourself some high capacity rechargeable AA batteries, these batteries are better for the environment, plus you only have to pay for them once. Number two, moleskin. You can buy this stuff in the foot care aisle at your local drugstore. You can also buy it by the foot online. Wherever you buy it, you should always keep sheets of it in your kit. Moleskin is to the sound mixer as gaff tape is to the gaffer. You really will use it for almost everything from hiding lobs to securing cables, even when you're in a pinch, to even covering up the bright LED lights that are on your wireless transmitter so they don't show through your talent's fabric. Number three, gloves. Even the best boom operators sometimes still wear gloves to keep down the handling noise on their boom pole. Gloves will help reduce the handling noise that's transmitted to the shotgun microphone. Gloves will also help you slide your boom pole through your hands so you can catch other actors in a scene. Gloves will also keep your hands baby smooth soft, and who doesn't like that? Number four, your tablet. Almost every sound recorder on the market now offers the ability to talk to a wireless tablet. These apps will allow you to add metadata and monitor levels to have more control over every single feature in your recorder. Tools like this help you make the boring parts of the job go through a lot faster, like setting up your screens, settings, metadata, your time code, all the stuff that you do during your morning coffee. These apps can also help you be more organized on your shoot by allowing you to add notes. Some apps even let you create the sound report on the tablet so you can email it immediately before you even leave set. This will take off a lot of the stress of having to work as soon as you get home on a long day. Number five, an audio bag and harness. I don't know how many times I see people who buy their very first professional audio recorder and they end up just going to the closet, giving themselves a luggage strap and clipping it right to the front face plate. Well, all that's gonna do is just ruin your gear from day one. The resale value is gonna go down because the metal on metal rubbing is gonna destroy the paint job. And second, it's also not good for your back. As a sound mixer, you wear a lot of gear on your body and you pretty much have to stay mobile. So it's very easy to hurt yourself if you've got all your weight slung to one side. It's kind of like when you wear your backpack, the hip style, and people all of a sudden start walking with a limp by the time they get out of high school. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't succumb to the peer pressure. What are you doing? You're supposed to use two straps. One strap is peer no. pressure. If you buy a proper sound bag and harness, it distributes the weight across your whole waist and body. Making sure that your back is straight and aligned and supported is something very critical. All kidding aside from Sound 101 that we like to do, you should actually be concerned about your health. And there you have it five accessories every sound mixer needs in their audio bag. If there's an audio accessory that you love, tell us about it in the comments below. The best comment is gonna win a DD shotgun microphone. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because remember, sound is half the picture. Thanks for watching.